When the RMS Titanic left Southampton on her maiden voyage to America on April 10, 1912, she carried with her 23 female stewardesses, whose job it was to take care of passengers on board the luxurious ocean liner. History will record that out of the 23 stewardesses who left England that day, 20 were saved after the disaster at sea. But who were the three who did not survive? This is their story. Lucy Lennard was born in 1890 in Surrey, England. In 1909, she married Lawrence Snape and moved to Singapore, where Lawrence worked at sea. But after just a year and a half, tragedy struck the young couple. In July of 1911, Lawrence contracted dysentery on a voyage and died in China, leaving Lucy as a 21-year-old widow with Margaret, their infant daughter. Lucy moved back to England in December of 1911, and her father helped get her a job as a stewardess on board the newest White Star Line ship, the RMS Titanic. She signed on April 6, 1912. She was assigned as a second-class stewardess and helped passengers during the voyage. Not much is known about her activities during the evacuation, but it has been said that there was plenty of room for the ladies to board a lifeboat. It was reported by several other stewardesses who were saved that Lucy was bidding them goodbye and that she said that she would not be seeing them again. Lucy Snape died in the sinking and was never seen again. Her body was never found. She was just 21 years old. Her one-year-old daughter Margaret received money from the Titanic Relief Fund and was taken care of by Lucy's parents from that time on. Eventually, Margaret grew up and married, but was also widowed at a young age after only four years of marriage. She did not have any children, and she never remarried. Margaret died in 1996. The second stewardess who met her fate on the Titanic was Kate Walsh. Kate was born in Tipperary, Ireland in 1869. She married John Roach in 1897, and the young couple welcomed two children in 1898 and 1900 while they still lived in Ireland. After a move to London, John and Kate had a third child there, Kathleen, in 1904. By 1911, the family was living in Southampton, where Kate had been working aboard ships as a stewardess. She signed on to the Titanic on April 6, 1912, the same day as Lucy Snape. Kate used her maiden name of Walsh, and it was believed that she did that because it might have been easier for her to get a job if she was believed to be single. She was assigned to serve the passengers in second class, just like Lucy was. Kate was one of only two Irish stewardesses to serve on board the Titanic. Again, not much is known about what Kate did during the loading of lifeboats, other than help passengers ready themselves for the trial that lay ahead. It is speculated that Kate also did not abandon her post. Kate Walsh died in the sinking. Her body was never found. She was 42 years old. Her husband John lived on, eventually dying in 1940 in Liverpool at the age of 71. He never remarried. Only her youngest daughter Kathleen received money from the Titanic Relief Fund. She continued to receive the payments for 10 years until 1922. She eventually married and had four children. Her family said that she rarely discussed the Titanic, and in 1997 she refused to watch James Cameron's film, saying it would be too traumatic for her. Kathleen lived until 2001. The third and final stewardess to perish on board the Titanic was Catherine Moore Wallace, born in Hampshire, England, in 1876. Her family lived in Southampton, and it was there in 1898 that she married James Wallace. The couple had four children between 1900 and 1909. Unfortunately, tragedy struck the family. In early 1911, James suddenly died, and by the end of that year, Catherine lost her father as well. When she signed on to the Titanic on April 6, 1912, she was reported to have transferred from the Oceanic. She was assigned to be an assistant matron in third class. She tended to her passengers during the voyage, and on the night of the tragedy, she helped as she could. But in the end, she refused to board a lifeboat. Other stewardesses said that Catherine told him she was going back to her room where it was safe. Catherine Wallace died in the sinking, and her body was never found. She was 36 years old. Her four children received money from the Titanic Relief Fund. Her youngest son, Fred, died in 1929 at only 21 years of age. Her eldest daughter, Melita, moved to Canada, where she married and lived until her death in 1969. Her other daughter, Cecilia, also moved to Canada and passed away in 1986. Finally, her oldest son, James, 
who had served in the Royal Navy during World War II, lived in England all his life, where he passed away in 1988. Thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic.